Hi guys, in this video we are going to create this magical room in Blender. I'm going to use grease pencil and a shader to create this artwork. I already UV unwrapped my model just by using smart UV project. So make sure if you're following this video, you UV unwrap your model first. So the idea for this artwork came from this 2D art which I saw on Pinterest. I think the artist's name goes by Omao. You can see their works on Twitter. Now we are going to set up image textures. 2048 pixels should be good enough for this project. As you can see we have four objects. So we will need four image textures separately for all of them. For the lighting, I'm just using a simple sunlight which is coming directly from the window into the room. To move the light in different directions, just select the light, press G and then X to move it in X, press Y to move it in Y and Z to move it in Z. create the dark space we will go to world properties and just bring the slider down to make it all black now to achieve this dreamy look we are going to play with the different options in the shader we are going to choose blue for the shadow tint and a little purple for the highlight and then we will just uh, play with the value saturation and and the intensity options mostly Oh, 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 
Now we are going to get the line art for the whole scene and we will need a camera for, for doing that. So just press shift A and add a camera. Now press Shift A, select Crease Pencil and then select Scene Line Art. I'm going to use the cursor for drawing stars in the moon in space and for doing that we have to place the cursor outside the room so we are going to position it out in the space. Now add a grease pencil blank by pressing shift A. Go to draw mode, untick the floor option to make the floor disappear. Now we will add a new material for the white color. And also untick the use lights option so that lights do not affect the grease pencil. We're going to use a pen tool and select 3D cursor so that we can draw where the 3D cursor is. Now we can, as you can see, now we can draw the stars. Thank you. 